Forge makes its triumphant return, the BattleBots team are doing things, and haven't we seen this picture before? All these and more in today's show. Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat, a new show about everything to do with robots in most weight classes. I'm taking all of my newsfeed from Facebook and stuffing it all into one video. So without further ado, let's crack on with today's first story. Thank you, past me. Yes, we turn first to Bugglebots and the Dung Beetle Melee, the chance to win the notorious Wooden Spoon. In this 10-way battle, Sir Lancer Frog showed its metal and took the win, beating the much-fancied Olympic hopefuls the Berg in what some would say a controversial judge's decision. Although actually it was an outright win and the Berg don't know what they're talking about, but hey-ho, it was good fun anyway. Well done to Sir Lancer Frog. Keeping with Beetle Weights, Team Panoramic have revealed or unveiled their newest Beetle Weight Let's Dance, a hopeful for the Bugglebots competition in Series 2. This front hinge flipper looks absolutely awesome, and apart from some technical issues, it might do very well. The team posted a build diary, so if you wish to go and see how this robot came about, go and check it out on their YouTube channel. And on the topic of Team Panoramic, they eventually did make it to the Ant Freeze competition that has been happening over the weekend. Now as I record this, it's around 3 o'clock on Sunday, so we have no idea who's won yet, but I can tell you that TTRE, Tom Brewster's Ant Weight, was at the competition and did the thing again. Twice. Sorry about your flaw. And on the topic of TTRE, the team that made Monsoon and Drizzle for Bugglebots have opened an online store where you can buy weapons at the minute for your ant weights, including the TTRE blade, which in hand is very shiny and very sharp. Awesome. Next I go across the Atlantic to BattleBots, where the International Robots First Round Draft Pick Selection Committee have been meeting to make some important decisions potentially. We don't actually know what's happening unless you become a Facebook supporter of BattleBots, so if you wish to know, go and have a look over there. In other news, Team Red Devil will be sitting out of the next series of BattleBots, as they said in their press release earlier in the week. They said that competing at BattleBots is a massive financial and time commitment, and with only a few spare parts to make a janky version of Red Devil, they will not be in the next series. They did, however, state that it won't be complete radio silence from the team as they will try and make some new Red Devil posts sometime in the future. And they will also be selling some old battle-worn bits of Red Devil on eBay. So American eBay goers, watch out for them. And to finish up some news from the world of Woodrow itself, the house robot for Grand Slam Live Forge has been reborn with a new LiPo battery finally installed. Forge will be appearing in Grand Slam Live 2, coming to the channel on its third anniversary, the 15th of February 2019. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then give it a like, do subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I shall see you very soon for more news from the world of robotic combat. There will be no dancing. This is also a temporary setup. Please bear with me.